Hello everyone, my name is Veyuna and I am project manager at Baltic Aviation Academy. Thank you for joining our webinar. If any questions will arise during our presentation, please leave them in comment box below or send us an email to info at baltica.com. Today we are going to concentrate on a type rating training course. Firstly, we will find out what is the purpose of program and we will continue by developing topics as what requirements type rating candidates should match, how program of the course looks like and what students are doing during their type rating course. The first question that comes into your mind is what is a type rating? A type rating is a permission to fly a certain aircraft type that requires additional training beyond the scope of initial license and aircraft class training. It is intended to give a participant the necessary knowledge and skills to master the airplane by meeting and even exceeding the suitable aviation authority requirements and standards. After completion of type rating course, the student shall be able to demonstrate knowledge of the cockpit layout and the controls, indicators which are used during operation of the aircraft, know the effect of all the controls, what conditions they should be operated, and what impact the operation will have on the aircraft and the various aircraft systems. Recognize all emergency situations, warnings, demonstrate the ability to find and complete the procedure specified or not in the checklist. Perform duties assigned in normal line flight operation considering safety, accuracy and economy. Be able to perform duties according to airline operation requirements, taking into the account passenger comfort understand the importance and perform his duties with respect to cabin crew coordination. If you have decided to continue your aviation career as an ELN pilot after receiving commercial pilot license, type rating training is a must. But first of all, you should check if you match entry requirements necessary for a candidate. It means that you should have at least 100 hours as pilot in command of airplanes, valid multi-engine and instrument rating, hold a certificate of, of multi-crew cooperation, ATPL theoretical knowledges, and commercial pilot license, and of course, medical certificate class one. The type rating program consists of two modules, ground phase, technical and operational procedures training, flight phase, simulator training and base training if required. The objective of ground training is to introduce various aircraft systems to the student. In this training phase, student becomes familiar with various aircraft components, system logic, controls, indication, limitations, and normal as well as abnormal operations. This detailed knowledge will be used during the procedure course and in a full flight simulator, which require a high level system understanding using checklist flows in normal and abnormal situations. The course is conducted using computer-based program, classroom lectures, training videos, and the flight deck poster. The theoretical knowledge training shall meet the general objectives of a detailed knowledge of the aircraft structure, power plant and system, along with their associated limitations, knowledge of the positioning and operation of the flight deck controls and indicators for the aircraft and its systems, an understanding of system malfunctions, their effect on aircraft operation and interaction with other systems, giving the student the understanding of normal and abnormal procedures. 
The duration of the ground training is usually around 16 training days, which normally consists around 124 academical hours, 45 minutes each. During the ground training, you will study such subjects as airplane general, equipment, doors, air conditioning and ventilation, APU, power plant, auto flight, communications, electrical system, fire protection, flight controls, fuel system, hydraulic system, ice and rain protection, indicating and recording system, landing gear, lights, navigation, oxygen, pneumatic system, water and waste, maintenance system. After completion of ground training, the students shall demonstrate the theoretical knowledge required to operate each system normally, detect abnormal operation of an aircraft system, determine if abnormal conditions affect the operation of other systems, know what appropriate actions to take. After each subject is covered, you need to pass the progress test. Test results are recorded in the lecture journal. Completed examinations are inserted into the each student's personal file. 75% of questions must be correctly answered in order to pass an examination. In case of failure, two days are given for individual preparation. After failure on the second attempt, seven days are given for preparation. After failure on the third attempt, training center authorities must decide if the applicant is capable of learning under the training program. A passing result of 75% assures the achievement of satisfactory knowledge level during the progress test and final examination. So after successfully completing your ground phase, with all progress tests and final exam, your second step will be flight phase. The flight phase instructions consist of nine sessions in full flight simulator. Each FFS session takes four hours of flight training for a crew of two pilots. A minimum required period is 11 days during which training time is divided between 16 hours of pilot flying and 16 hours of pilot not flying. Exam lasts 4 hours for two pilots, making 36 hours in total of pilot practical training. Base training should be performed within 60 days after successfully completing simulator training. If a student pilot has more than 500 hours multi-pilot airplane experience in airplanes of similar size and performance, he shall complete at least four landings, of which at least one shall be a full stop. In all other cases, the student shall complete at least six landings. The airplane training provided shall not exceed two hours. If special difficulties are encountered, more training may be given by adding additional simulator hours. Training schedule lasts 32 calendar days. Congratulations! After completing both phases, you get a type rating and you are ready to start your career. This means that you can start flying on your chosen type of aircraft and start searching for your employment opportunities in various airline companies. I hope you found our webinar useful and we managed to clearly explain what kind of studying procedures is waiting if you will decide to start to study your type rating course. Don't hesitate to ask questions which can arise during our webinar. Please leave them in comment box below or send us an email to info at balticaa.com. Thank you and see you next time.